Bovee Medical Corporation, a leading manufacturer of electrosurgical equipment, battery-operated thermal cauteries, and surgical lighting products, is proud to introduce the Aaron 940, a refinement to the office-based electrosurgical products used in desiccation, fulguration, and coagulation. The Aaron 940, Bovee's 40-watt high-frequency desiccator, forever removes the need to go through a tedious multi-step process to change from low to high power. This generator has digital error detection and continually monitors every aspect of the A940's output. It allows doctors to change power settings with one action using the rotary power control dial or the up-down buttons on the autoclavable handpiece. If you need to use a foot control, just plug it in. There is no need for a separate handpiece, and you can still control the power setting from the handpiece while using the foot control. The Aaron 940 is used by physicians in many specialties, including dermatology, plastic surgery, family and general practice, urology, and ophthalmology. With the Aaron 940 High Frequency Desiccator, office-based electrosurgery has a new standard incorporating 21st century technology. This innovative, efficient, flexible design comes in a cost-effective package. It is truly a no-compromises instrument without equal in the industry today. This video will show you the new level of flexibility and control you'll enjoy while performing the removal of nevi, seborrheic keratosis, sebaceous hyperplasia, cherry angioma, skin tags, telangiectasia, and unwanted hair. It is important to always begin with a low power setting. When you need to increase the power output, rotate the power dial clockwise or push the up power button on the handpiece. The best way to get comfortable with the A940 is to practice with a raw, lean flank stake. This allows you to get comfortable with the various power settings and the different effects of each tip. You need to avoid applying too much power to the tip. Be sure to adjust the power conservatively at first. As you use the A940 desiccator for a particular procedure, you will become accustomed to the settings you need to use. The A940 is a ground reference unit, meaning that you can use it without a grounding plate. However, there are some precautions you must observe when doing so. First, keep the patient away from grounded surfaces such as the metal edges of the exam table. Secondly, while the instrument is in use, maintain either no contact with the patient or firm contact over a wide area of skin. This minimizes the potential for current transfer between the patient, the instrument, and yourself. All electrosurgical devices create electromagnetic interference. Be sure to take adequate precautions when working around cardiac pacemaker patients. It is always advisable to check with the manufacturer of the pacemaker or defibrillator before the procedure is performed. Avoid using the A940 or any other electrosurgical device in the presence of high concentrations of oxygen, flammable anesthetics, flammable disinfectants such as alcohol preps or any other combustible materials. As in most surgical procedures, post-operative scarring is a possibility. Hypertrophic scarring may occur when too high a power setting is used. Start with the lowest possible setting and increase power slowly to achieve desired results. If a viral wart is being removed or if the patient is infected with HIV or hepatitis, use a smoke evacuator such as the Bovi Smoke Shark 2, wear a disposable surgical mask and wear eye protection. We recommend you use disposable electrodes for each patient procedure to avoid cross-contamination. If you prefer to use reusable electrodes, sterilize the electrodes at the setting recommended by your sterilizer's manufacturer. A full selection of disposable and reusable electrodes is available from Bovee Medical Corporation. If handpiece sterility is required or if a handpiece should become contaminated during a procedure, then steam sterilization is the recommended method. Or if you prefer, the Bovee A910ST sterile drape can be used as a convenient alternative.
The surgery site has been properly identified, prepped with an antiseptic antimicrobial skin cleanser, and local anesthesia has been administered. The surgery margins are marked, cutting into the dermis, and the specimen is removed. Using the Aaron 940 High Frequency Desiccator by Bovi and an A804 Sharp Dermal Tip Electrode, any of the bleeding points resulting from the tissue excision are cauterized. With a power setting from 15 to 20, you can see how quickly and effectively the Aaron 940 accomplishes the hemostasis. Next, we will proceed with the undermining through the fat layer of the wound in order to bring the skin together without too much tension on the sutures. If the undermining creates additional bleeding, electrocoagulation is easily achieved in seconds upon contact of the A804 electrode to the bleeding point. A final inspection of the surgical site shows the efficacy of the Aaron 940 High Frequency Desiccator by Bovi. The wound is completely sutured and no bleeding is present. When treating sebaceous hyperplasia that are primarily just under the epidermis, the following technique is very useful for electrodesiccating the small lesions, minimizing the involvement of extraneous area surrounding the lesion. Local anesthesia for minor lesions such as these is not required. The Aaron 940 High Frequency Desiccator by Bovi is used with an A804 dermal tip electrode and a 27 gauge needle. Expose the area being treated by stretching the skin surrounding the lesion. Place the tip of the needle on the side of the lesion and penetrate it superficially. With a power setting of 2 watts on the Aaron 940, gently make contact with the electrode to the needle and activate the handpiece. This will selectively electrodesiccate the lesion given the high content of water within the sebaceous hyperplasia compared to the epidermis. Some lesions may require a second point of entry. But once tissue discoloration occurs, the electrodesiccation is complete. This procedure minimizes epidermal damage and adequately treats the sebaceous hyperplasia lesion without requiring curatage after electrodesiccation. For lesions larger than 2 mm, the Aaron 940 High Frequency Desiccator with an A804 Sharp Dermal Tip Electrode is recommended. Always start with a low power setting and increase power as needed. For this type and size of lesion, a power setting of 2 watts is perfect. If at the post-operative evaluation the treated angiomas require additional electrodesiccation, use the same technique but reduce the power setting by 50%. Use the A804 dermal electrode tip perpendicular to the skin for small lesions. For larger lesions, use an angle of approximately 30 to 45 degrees. Observe how quickly we have eliminated the angiomas without the need of any anesthesia. To remove skin tags, we will electrodesiccate lightly at a power setting of 1 to 3 watts. A fraction of a second is all it takes, and then the tag will blanch and can be removed. It is also possible to leave the tag, and it will fall off in a few days. Here are a few examples of skin tag removal. Seborrheic keratosis lesions will be treated individually by first electrodesiccation and then curatage. The procedure site has been previously anesthetized and prepped. Some of the hyperpigmented lesions have been previously biopsied to make sure that they are benign before electrodesiccation. The Bovi A940 should be set at a relatively low power setting between 5 watts and 8 watts, depending on the size and thickness of each epidermal lesion. A Bovi A805 sterile sharp dermal tip electrode is being used for the procedure. For the larger lesions, use the side of the dermal tip to electrodesiccate a greater area of the lesion at one time. For small seborrheic keratosis lesions, the tip of the A805 can be used.
Having been electrodesiccated, we now proceed with the curette, effectively removing the lesion. Most of the seborrheic keratoses lesions require only one single pass. Sometimes, the more hypotrophic lesions will require a second pass of electrodesiccation. If this is the first time that the patient has this procedure done, we will be re-evaluating our results in about three to four weeks to get a better idea of how the patient heals and to determine if another pass is required and if the power setting has to be increased or decreased. It is important to maintain the level of electrodesiccation to the superficial plane of the dermis to avoid scarring. The A834T needle electrode or similar fine point electrode works well for removing small telangiectasias. We use no anesthesia as since doing so would temporarily obliterate the blood vessel we are treating. Using a power setting of 0 to 3 watts, apply current directly to the vessel for a fraction of a second. With the proper power setting, the vessel will immediately disappear with minimal damage. The Aaron 940 offers power output control down to one-tenth of a watt, also making it ideal for facial telangiectasias. It is easy to make accurate minor adjustments and minimize potential scarring. Prior to commencing the procedure, prep the treatment area with a topical antiseptic. For hair removal, we will be using the Bovi A834T electrode, a thin epilating needle. Before beginning the procedure, either dial the power dial to the lowest setting, 0 watts, and rotate the power dial up to a maximum setting of 3 watts, or use the up-down buttons on the handpiece to start. Then adjust the power and or the length of desiccation time according to the ease and or difficulty of removing the hair and the patient's discomfort threshold. If the patient is hypersensitive to the procedure, a lidocaine prilocaine cream has been beneficial in reducing the sensations of electrolysis. Insert the epilation needle into a test follicle in the area you will be treating. Your patient should feel no pain or minimal discomfort with a proper insertion. Insert fully to the depth of the hair at the angle of the hair growth, being careful not to pierce the follicle. Avoid shallow insertions, since this may cause the current to miss the papilla, reducing effectiveness. Now, activate the handpiece for just a few seconds for each hair. If keeping the handpiece steady while depressing the activation button is a concern, an optional Bovi A803 foot switch is recommended for activation. Test the hair with a pair of forceps. If it doesn't remove easily, try a slightly higher power setting or a longer activation time. For post-operative care, use a healing ointment to soothe and protect the wound or an antibiotic ointment. Healing may take anywhere from one to three weeks or longer depending on each patient's age and overall state of health. The following are the suggested power setting guidelines for the various applicable procedures. That's a quick look at some basic procedures. We think you'll find the Aaron 940 High Frequency Desiccator is the ideal instrument for your practice. And the best part is that the more you use the instrument, the easier the procedures will become. And support is only a phone call away. Thanks for watching, and if you need more information or help with a specific question, call your local Bovee sales representative.